And hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review, and today we are reviewing Kitangu from, or the Kitanangu, <laughs> whatever, from 2005. So on the front of the booklet here, see a picture of Kitangu walking right in, hitting off a Rituka spinner. And then Bonicle logo, Bonicle.com, Lego logo, and set number is 8755. And on the back of the booklet, the ad for the Bonicle 2 movie and 3 movie coming later then. Ad for all the Visorak and ad for all the Toa Hordika. And then instructions for the combination model that he and Sidorak make. But also you can combine him with uh, Rudaka as well. And then ad for the other two Titan sets of Zidorak and Rudaka, of course. And the front first page of which, just another picture of which, was shooting off the Rituka spinner, of course. So now, onto it, the set itself. Of which, kind of neat uh, set of which. Although, one thing that's quite misleading is that on the second uh, Bonacle movie, of which, He's like a lot taller than both Sidorak and Rudaka, but for the actual set of which, he's just a bit shorter than that. I don't get that. Maybe they should have made him a little taller than both of them, but it would have jacked up the price for him, but whatever. So, for the legs of which, for the feet, is Build a little intricately with the slicer feet pieces in this odd yellow color, or as people call it, key to orange. Or orange yellow is more like it. And does have the foot, metro foot in said color. Then the lower limb, which is a Vaki limb, and a Rotorire head in the key to orange color. And the lower limb made it those like special uh, joint connector pieces twice, and with a Technic uh, beam holding them together, and some more of those like slicer feet. But a lot of it in this set, so at least it, this set is a good parts pack for that. But as for the main build of which, which does have those bracketing pieces. Like most Titan sets from the Metro line, will oftentimes have. And for the on the back is another one of those pieces on his butt, and although one side of which has a Technic piece of which mainly to hold the uh, Rituka rip cord onto, although it does look sort of like an antenna, but whatever. And what the red thing's on for is for one of the features, which I'll get to later. But the chest plate is mainly comprised with the Hordika foot, but in yellow, in this key to orange color, sorry. And then one limb, which being a gray Vaki limb, and double connector piece in the key to orange color, and just light stay for it, and nothing much added to it, kind of bland, you know. But the other arm, which gets interesting, kind of the same build and has some more of that, and a gear function kind of piece, which comprised of a four call shield pieces and can swish it back and forth and makes them whip back and forth. Which they also used with the Rudaka, but with the Hohatu Nuva claws so instead of that. And as for the upper part of which, which has a one single eye, which looks a little similar to the Baraki eyes, but it's a little different kind of piece than that. And also has a Borak a face shield, but in said color. Although what would have been nicer is make have a small build that represents the mouth of which, because since of course on the movie of which he does and also, the eyes in a blue color on that one. 
I could have worked with that, but what are you going to do? But as for the red pieces, actually, it's for the main features. We're going to flip it open, and the front area folds out, and get the red spinner onto it. And take the rip cord, put it in, and let it fly like so. Which is quite different than most of the other sets from this time, as in have the Rituka hidden rather than shown on the set. And so now on to with the final verdict on this one. This overall, this I think a pretty cool set for 2005, and of course played a key part in the storyline and in this uh, third movie. Like something that the Toa had defined and all. But also, good supply of this orangey yellow color, or more like heat orange, which many call it, and yeah. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I'd say go ahead and get it. eBay, Brick Clink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.